The Royal St. Lucia Police Force's ground fleet continues to expand under Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre's stewardship of the National Security Ministerial Portfolio. On June 30th, the Prime Minister delivered five new motorcycles to the high command of the police force. My job is to use the scarce resources of the government to make life better for the police, to give them better conditions of work, to give them more equipment, to make them use modern techniques of crime, of crime prevention. That's all I can do. I know your job is very tough. But as I always said, it's an honor to have the power of the uniforms that the police wear. Prime Minister Pierre billed his 2023-2024 agenda as the year of national security. He has allocated millions of dollars to undertake needed construction work on police stations throughout the island and secured tactical equipment and operational resources from friendly governments since assuming office in 2021. The bolstered motor vehicle fleet enhances ground mobility and further strengthens the tactical capabilities of the police force. In the past, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force would have had to engage our counterparts in the sub-region when the need for additional motorcycles were required to operate for major regional and international events. We had to loan motorcycles from different countries, Antigua and RSS member states would have to um, ship, ship motorcycles here for us. And during our budget presentation, we made a, an appeal to the Prime Minister because this situation was unacceptable and it is something we just couldn't, it was not sustainable. These motorcycles will undoubtedly, undoubtedly play a pivotal role in strengthening the operational efficiency and tactical ability of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. The donation could not have been more timelier. The organization has realized the importance of tra traffic management as a key component of our citizen security strategy. The supply of new resources and tools to the police force, facilitated by the Prime Minister, continues. From day one, the Prime Minister has made a commitment to support our law enforcement officers. And this is another way of li living up to his commitment and the expectation. I have heard feedback from the law enforcement officers and those who speak from the heart will tell you that they are very pleased with the support that they are getting from the government. Since 2021, Prime Minister Pierre has committed more than EC $45 million to strengthen the country's chief security agency for a safer and secure St. Lucia. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.